Hello, and welcome to What the Flick. We're gonna take a little trip back to the 100 Acre Wood and get soft and cuddly for a little while with Winnie the Pooh. I am Christy, that's Alonzo. That is the newly married Matt Atchity. Are you keeping your last name? Uh, I think so. <laughs> Are you gonna hyphenate? I might. That'd be very forward thinking of you. Get like I'll, different I'll, monogrammed handkerchiefs. You know, Matt Atchity's kind of a mouthful as it is, so adding a couple more syllables, uh, I don't know. It's that. assonant. Okay, we'll accept that. No, so, it's, pr it's pronounced Atchity. Oh, sorry. Atchity. Not so Atchity. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh is, um, I have to admit that I was kind of dreading having to schlep to Burbank to go see Winnie the Pooh on a Saturday morning, and I am so incredibly glad that I did. Um, this is very much a return to the origins of what the, the story was all about um, in terms of just the tone of it and the look of it um, as far as plot. Winnie the Pooh wakes up and he's hungry for honey and uh, madcap hilarity ensues. Take a look. I can see you're going to be rather feisty today. I am known for my inspiring rhetoric. Oh. Black and blue! <laughs> A simple hello would do. Thank you very much. There they are. Christopher Robin! Ray! I walked across an empty land. I knew the pathway like the back of my hand. We will have a contest to find a new tale for Eeyore. <laughs> Well, the thing to do is issue a reward on to the... I beg your pardon? You sneezed. No, I didn't. The word is issue, not at you. You must be catching a cold. I'll probably catch it too. Perhaps I could borrow some honey. So oh, just a taste, oh, a small lick, I should think. <laughs> Silly old bear. So this is surprisingly great. And you're looking at it thinking, I'm not two years old, I'm not gonna wanna see it. It's not Wrong. just for two year olds. Right. And no, it's for everyone. You're it's also so watching great. this review thing. Why the hell are these guys reviewing Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, yeah you're probably wondering why you clicked on this in the first place. Why is this right. review this? Because it's actually for you. <laughs> and we're wondering that too, actually. Yeah, no, but it's completely great and it's for every age. Yeah, this is a really sweet movie. Mm -hmm. This is one of the best adaptations of Winnie the Pooh. Well, adaptations, it's an original story. Mm -hmm. But this is one of the best treatments of Winnie the Pooh that Disney's done, I think, since the first time they put him on screen. And it's really nice. It's The animation's very well done. The voice casting and voice performances is really are really good. I really enjoyed this movie. It's very short. 68 minutes. 68 minutes, very including short. the uh, short in front of it. Oh, uh, which is also great. Right, yes. so it's really, it's like barely an hour long. B-E-A-R? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's right, I went there. Um, I like that they capture the spirit of the characters mm -hmm. and, and the way that Milne had written about them. It's very close to that spirit. and so, But yet they somehow managed to make the humor really sharp mm -hmm. and very funny and it's not, kind of the cutesy, like talking down, like there's a lot of wordplay and a lot of good gags mm -hmm. that I didn't really expect and I really enjoyed it. I yeah, was there's really... like a lunacy to it. And the guy who co-wrote the songs is a Tony winner for Avenue Q in the Book and of the Mormon. Mormon yes. Just to give you an idea of like the, the tone of the humor here, it's rapid fire wordplay, right. it's hysterical. Um, yeah, there's, there's a sweetness to the characters but also they're not nearly as intelligent or sophisticated as they're pretending to be so everything they do just right. gets so completely spiraling out of control and um, everything snowballs and they mean well, but they're all insane. Right, and, <laughs> and as much as you see some of the gags coming, you know, like at one point they're all trapped in this kind of pit that they've dug. Mm -hmm. And you realize Owl is lamenting about being trapped in there with him, and it's like, are his wings broken? Yeah. And then he flies out and says something <laughs> and, and comes back. back, and they all look at him stunned, uh -huh. and you're thinking they're all gonna yell at him. 
And then they, but the gag that they do goes in a completely different direction, and it's great. I yeah. really yeah. enjoyed it. I mean, that, I that's the thing. That you see this movie, and you think, oh, well, it's going to be sweet, and it's going to be lovely, and all those things, which it is, but it's also really funny. So it's not like, you're not just going to be all like, Ooh, you know, it's not just this warm blanket of childhood nostalgia, which it is, mm -hmm. but it's hilarious, and it's, it's you know... So it's like I, a warm said, Star Wars blanket. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I, like I, I said in my review for the rap, it's like it, you you actually believe that the phrase "fun for all ages" means something. True, it sounds like, corny, but it's true. Yeah, I think yeah. like any age, no matter how young, old, even if you're like a, a really annoying adolescent, you will have fun <laughs> right. laughing at this movie. It's really charming. It's 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 great, and it looks great, and it's, it's hand drawn just, animation. Yes, two D. Right, Sweet. hand drawn yeah. animation. You've got uh, narration from John Cleese, mm -hmm. which was really nice. You've got the, Craig the, Ferguson as the owl. Right. The, you've got the original Sherman Brothers songs as well as the new right, ones from, right. from Robert Also Lopez by Zooey well. Deschanel. My probably one quibble with this movie is that I don't think Deschanel's voice really fits these kid songs that well. I feel like, and this is a you know probably a subtle distinction, but I feel like her voice is a little too sultry to really make those songs mm. work. Yeah. I'd expect somebody who's got kind of a more cutesy voice, but it didn't. It didn't bug me, and and I'm not the biggest fan of hers usually because when I hear her singing, all I can think of is the touch, the feel of cotton. Hmm. Um, but <laughs> I, I thought it actually. I thought they worked. I thought, I thought they were. She was appropriate. The songs were all, you know, they were charming in their own ways. And I, yeah, I just, I, I really kind of, I was expecting. I, I went in with my hat of like, oh well, this is a sweet film for kids, da da da. And I went out thinking, no, this is an entertaining right. movie for yeah. everybody. Right. If you're a parent and you have to take your children. And if you have to take kids to this movie, you're gonna like it. It's and not, it's, yeah, it's not a it's, schlep it's, at all. Right, it's not something, it's not some of the other animated films we've seen this year where you're sitting through it. You know, it's not like the last Shrek movie where are like, oh God, what <laughs> am I It's doing not here? Mars Needs Moms. Right, Thank exactly. God. This is a movie that, that you won't mind taking the kids but even, to. But even if you don't have a child, go see it at night when the kids aren't gonna be in the theater like throwing popcorn around. Go see it anyway, yeah. you'll, you'll have a good time. I agree, let's do numbers, Alonzo. Uh, nine, for Winnie the Pooh. Yes, Matt Atchley. Uh, 8.5. Just I'm because of Zoe Deschanel? Uh, you know, I'm in a row. <laughs> well, it's a little short. That, my other kind of quibble here is I know that you couldn't really necessarily drag it out for an hour and a half, mm -hmm. but there's a side of me that thinks, do you have to pay full price for a movie that short? Oh. It but does leave you wanting you know, more, but, which is necessarily or, a bad Or thing. add another short in front of it. But I've seen so many movies where a, a little kid, not, not a little kid, but like a, a short and succinct kids story gets bloated out of proportion no, by agree. the three act structure, like you know the Polar Express or something. Right. Keep them short. Yeah. Get in, get out, do what you got to do, and and you know if it's if it's appropriate for the story you're telling, I'm fine with short. Yeah. Attention span wise, it's also appropriate for all yes. ages. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm probably too low, but I'm a cynic. So you're doing nine, you're doing eight and a half, I'm gonna do nine also, so. You know what, you, you guys should talk me into it. I'll change mine to nine. Wow, so Whoa, we're all okay. giving it a nine. We're in a solidarity here. This might be one of the highest rated films we've ever done on What the Flick. <laughs> we like Winnie short the movies. Yeah. Winnie the Pooh, so, uh, so go check it out and uh, have fun. Thanks guys, bye.